Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another Bradford City Road to Glory Career Mode episode for the third season. This is the second episode, and in the previous episode, we took care of a bunch of transfer business. We signed plenty of free agents to, you know, fill the squad with depth for the upcoming Premier League season, and to eventually probably sell a few of them to get a little bit of cash come January so we can sign some pre-contracts. We do have a friendly, which I'm not really going to play. I'll just simulate that, and I think really, in terms of transfers, we're pretty much done, because... I've signed pretty much everyone that I really have any interest in. Uh, I've got a few players that I might maybe loan away if we get the offers. But apart from that, that's it. I don't think we're really selling anybody. I think we're pretty much done. We might just hopefully advance on through to the first actual competitive game of the season and just play that. We've got a youth squad report. Let's have a look at that. We've got plenty of players in our youth squad that we can sign right now. And they're not all fantastic, to be honest, because... We don't have the best scout in the world. Although, I keep saying that, but he did find a Scott Collins who's been a, a, like, amazing. There's a lot of players there that we could sign right now, but what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to sign any player from my U squad until I get the email saying that they want to be signed or else they're just going to go. But that's when I'm going to pick them up. And I've also sent my scout away to Germany. Yep, that's right. And, oh, that's all right. He's got a relatively decent potential. Let's have a look at this guy. Nah, not really. That's awesome. That's really fucking awesome. Thank you. We have found another beauty. That's what I love to see. And he's five foot three. Okay, well, we'll keep him in the U squad and we'll let him get taller. But that's a sick potential. Nice max overall. And I don't even need to look at anything else. That's uh, that's fantastic. Fabio Poggenberg, I am awaiting your 16th birthday eagerly. And hopefully you grow by around about, you know, six or so inches in that time as well. But we're still advancing on through here. I think we are done for friendly. So really, we're just going on through to the first game. Is it a cup game or is it a Premier League game? Let's see. Any transfer business in the meantime? No. First game's against Cardiff. So it's not the hardest team to play in the Premier League. You never know. We might just get the right result. We have a loan offer for Oliver McBurney, a 60-year-old, a uh, 60-year-old, a 60 overall rated 19-year-old who is... Uh, not really that great. I'd still at 19 years of age. Hopefully he can grow and get pretty good, but I'm just going to send him away on loan to Swindon Town. Player returns from injury. Macaulay Crescentis. Oh my God. On the actual first game of the season, I won't play him though because I don't want him to just come right back from injury when he's still a bit vulnerable and then just redo his injury. So we'll keep him on the bench for this first game. So I'm going to be playing Hanson at striker for this first game against Cardiff only because again, uh, Macaulay Crescentis is coming off an injury. And even though his little band-aid symbol isn't there anymore, you can see his energy. He's still really low for energy, so I don't think I'd play him anyway, but whatever. Uh, this is going to be your starting 11 for the first game. Pretty much full strength starting 11, and let's go. I can't believe it. I've waited how long for that little logo to pop up in the animation at the start of the game. We're playing our first Premier League game of the series against Cardiff City. Away. We're not playing in front of our home fans. What can you do? But yeah, this could potentially be... Maybe getting ahead of myself. It's still Cardiff we're talking about. This is still a good team. But you never know. It's a much better odds of actually getting a win in our first game. I think it's pretty fair to say that this Premier League season we will be battling. Because we're going to be playing some really good bloody teams. Uh, much higher rated than ourselves. On Legendary. Hardest difficulty there is. So yeah. I think it's fair to say that we'll be battling. Don't expect us to get in the Champions League or anything like that. If we do, that'll be awesome. But hopefully this team is still good enough to get us... Mid-table is hopefully what I'm sure would be a good result, or at least in my eyes. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Let's go. Premier League time, baby. Let's go. Come on, Cardiff. Kick us off. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No way. Penalty? No, because I did slide in there. I did try to block the shot, but he's missed it. He skied it. Got away with it early there. Uh-oh. Was he the last man? Please don't be the last man. Don't do it. Oh, don't you fucking dare. I think that's a pretty fairly legitimate attempt at trying to get the ball. We'll see the replay. All he has to do is swing around, to swing his fucking leg around, and he just hits the deck fucking that quickly. It's ridiculous. Well, that is just stunning. And this is actually like a really decent chance at scoring. And that's a great save from Scott Collin. You can see here I've actually had to sacrifice Stuart Armstrong, one of my two center attacking midfielders, only because I don't want to be light at the back. I brought on Karl McHugh to uh, take up Spranovic's spot at the center back. That through ball was stunning from Aaron Moy. There he is, Hanson. He's got no one in support. No one's fucking forward. Actually, Cardiff are playing five at the back against a newly promoted fucking team. Cardiff, you are that sad. I'm serious. There we go. Running into the space, Moy. Oh, that's probably not the right thing to do there. Or was it? Oh, offside. Yedlin, who pushed up forward and nearly got the goal, but just put it off. And is he yet to score for Bradford? I know he's a right back, but still, that's such a good opportunity. 
Oh, everyone's putting him off target. We're getting the balls through. Come on, Aaron Moy. Nearly got there. Look, look, it's good. We're finding, we're getting behind the line of defense, but every single shot's going off target. That's going to stay. He's going to get there. He's going to fucking get there. I don't believe it. Oh, all right, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, interception. That's a nice one. We just need something going forward. Nothing's there. We're going to have to use the pace of Yedlin there. Oh, he's broken through. I don't believe it. Come on. We've got to find something in the middle here. There it is. The header. Oh, that was a, it was a uh, interesting attempt at trying to score from there. Tackle. Need a run. Oh, fucking. Meredith, why are you pushed up? You've been the worst player today. You're a fucking left back. You're not a center attacking midfielder. And look at it. And you're a fucking left back. And look at where we are getting exposed from. The fucking left side. Okay, we draw that game then. Zero goals scored. And that's quite... That's just what happens when fucking Cardiff play five at the back. Why did Cardiff need to play five at the back against us? And this is the play ratings for the first game of the season. And obviously, as you can see, uh, Scott Collins got man of the match with, I think he got about six or so saves. There you go. And uh, yeah, we lost Branovich in the first five minutes of the game, which was, there you go. But that means we had to bring on Karma Q and he was awesome. Really, really good. So yeah, but they were play ratings uh, for FIFA 14. But what are my votes? This is going to be pretty uh, defensively dominated here, but I'm going to give one vote to DeAndre Yedlin in this game. Two votes are going to go to Scott Collins, FIFA 14's man of the match. And three votes are going to go to Carl McHugh. Because just defensively, he was everywhere as soon as he came on. Since just some stunning stuff. Uh, Meredith really pissed me off. Hansen didn't get a lot going. The whole midfield really couldn't get a lot going. But I don't really blame them too much when Carter for rocking bloody fucking five at the back throughout the entire game. And then they just drop everyone else back or their midfield off the ball. It's just, they play shit football. I mean, fuck Cardiff. But anyway, we'll advance on through. Hopefully we can get... Uh, I don't see why we can't play... Holy shit. Arsenal. This should be a home game of ours, by the way, as well. But we'll play Crescentis in this one, definitely. It is a home game against Arsenal. Wow, there we go. We will be playing Macaulay Crescentis in this game because he is no longer injured. He's got 100% energy and, uh, and stamina. So that's it. And we are pretty much now rocking a full-strength starting 11 team. Uh, minus a court Spiranovic because he did get that red card in the last game. But... That's going to be it. Here we go. Arsenal. It's a tough game. Let's go. So we are indeed playing Arsenal in the first home game of the season. And look at that lineup. It's actually not as strong as what it you would have thought. Maybe this is three seasons in though, but they're missing a few of their better players like Ozil and a couple of others. Ramsey, I don't think was in there. But yeah, it's still Arsenal. This is still a tough game. Let's go. I've got Wellington Nem as well, which is a bit of an interesting... Interesting transfer as he turns the ball over there. Pretty, uh, you know, not under a lot of, awful lot of pressure there. We've got numbers here. Yep, there we go. And it's Danny Pacheco. He's got a little bit of pace. Not an awful lot. I might even go into it here. That's another good pass. It's Meredith. It's Meredith. It's always oh, hit the outside of the post. James Meredith, you continue to disappoint me and just piss me off. Fuck. Oh, there you go. That was... All right. Well, we've conceded. First goal that we've conceded. Just come from across. I see that. I see that run. Armstrong can hit that first time. And oh, that would have been some goal. But no, he can't put it on target. Oh my god, at the near post. Collins, I don't even think he dove the right way. Oh, very good tackle. Two, nice, well done. And away we go, that's an awesome touch. That's a stunning touch. And Armstrong will sell, dummy. Oh, he's going to get off target again. This is really, god fucking damn it. He, took, he was going to take the shot, but then he jumped over the fucking ball and then shot it. And then it was still off target. Tackle. Again, Armstrong. Again, he's got it. No support. I'm going to have to pass that straight away. And he did. Oh, my God. We just can't put it on fucking target. It's impossible. I know that's a, I know that's a tough attempt, but... I, I legitimately thought that was going in for a second. Good. Again, we get it. Nice. Send him through. Run at it. I'm getting fucking sick to death. Just put it on fucking target. I'm fucking finished. I can't fucking... I don't get it. I don't get it. How do you even put it that off target? So it is a draw and a loss in our first two Premier League games. And this is going to be... Uh, I'm still trying my best on the hardest difficulty against tough teams. But guys, you might have to get used to this because we will struggle. There's no doubt that we will struggle in the first season in the Premier League. But 
Like, fuck's sake. If Meredith just puts that on target and fucking scores, the whole game is different. So we look at the match facts. We got Arsenal with six shots, put three on target, scored two goals. We had eight shots and we put two on fucking target. That's it. Two for the entire game. Some were howlers. And, oh, it's just... We've all forgotten how to shoot. It's great. But the player ratings, there you go. That was for that game. I think I'm probably going to give my votes. <clears throat> One's probably going to go to Danny Ward in that game. I'm going to give two votes to Chrysanthus. And even though he's a striker and didn't really get anything going. And I'm going to give three votes to Stuart Armstrong. Because, uh, again, as you can see, no one got anywhere close to a match, like a really high rating. But in my opinion, Armstrong was the guy that got the ball the most and did the most with it. I'll tell you what I'm liking about the Premier League, though. Less games that you have to play throughout the season, longer breaks. Everyone's going into... We always go into the game with pretty much everyone at 100% energy, which is awesome. So we got a game against uh, Sunderland, which will be away as well, I'm assuming. Yep. And... We just fucking... We just need to get the right result here. I mean, seriously. I don't know. Sunderland are also the same as us. They've only got a one point from the last two games. But I'll be sure to play the Sunderland game in the next episode. That will be a green screen episode and the final green screen episode of this transfer window. And then when January hits, I'll do... Uh, I'll bring back the green screen. So, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching, guys. Still yet to score a goal this whole season. Who's going to get the first one? Who knows? But anyway, I'm your host, Game of the Masterbucks. Peace out. Bye-bye.